There's no way he leaves me on the island with him. Oh yeah, it's over. I gotta take. He don't know my range. This is green. Oh, I'm seeing it already. The PNR messed up as it is. I'm seeing it. Senator don't want to help. He don't want to help his lock. Oh my god. Like, this is crazy. This is an 83 acceleration too. Oh, I got him again. I'm starting to like this build way more. The more and more I play, it's like I can move. I can just move even better. Oh my lord. That boy Chance, he him. He him. He ain't even touched the man. Alright, if you've been keeping up with all the dribble tutorials I've been posting, you should have no problem following along at this point. If you're new here, you should go check out the old dribble tutorial because I'm going to be following up after these. Like It's like a level up, level up situation. So if you haven't been watching the recent ones, you probably might have trouble with these unless you're already good at dribbling. But for my animations from the last time, I kind of changed up a couple stuff because I feel like the meta now is a little bit more different, especially when it comes to my behind the back. I went from Curry to Jam Jam I said Jamal, Jamal Murray, and and this is my new build by the way. This is the build with my like with a low acceleration. I think I get an eight. I get I get an eight three acceleration on this build too. So for my pass style, I want Lamelo Ball. I feel like that's the best pass style in the game if you have at least like an eighty seven pass style. So you should get this or eighty five. It don't matter. But this boosts up my pass like so much, especially when my center slips. For my dribble style, my dribble style will never change unless they, unless they add another dribble style to the game next season. But the best dribble style for small guards is Kyrie Irving. So if you're a small guard out there, use Kyrie Irving. But if you don't get Kyrie Irving, use Damian Lillard. Next, for, sign for signature size ups, everybody, if you're a small guard and you don't have a 95 boy handle, sorry, you don't get Steve Francis. Steve Francis, you unlock this at a 95, and that's the reason because that's the best signature size up in the game. Other people use the Aaron Fox, you can use that too. If you're a little taller, you can't get it. For my regular breakdown combo, I haven't changed this yet. I still feel like Isaiah Thomas is the best one in the game. It just feels the most shiftiest to me. And you can speed boost out of the animation. Then for my aggressive breakdown combo, I, I rarely do this anyways, but I felt the best one to me and the most like the cheesiest and looks cool to like dribble with is Michael Jordan because you got little like between the legs spam. But skate moves, there's two you can really use here if you're a small guard. If you're a tall guard, use Kimball Walker, but if you're a small guard, you can use Trey Young or Kimba Walker. So if you don't have a high ball handle, use Kimba Walker as an alternative. But if you do have a high ball handle, Use that Trey Young and you unlock it at a, at a 92. For my combo moves, I use I want Zach Levine. Even though I feel like I, I don't know how to trigger combo moves. Like if somebody could tell me in the comment section, I haven't found anybody that actually does combo moves. But hey, if you want to use Zach Levine, you can use Zach Levine. It just looks the coolest to me. For my crossover, I want Trey Young just because if you know if you know how to L2 cancel, I feel like it's the easiest way. Like so, if y'all didn't know in 2K. Your crossover actually matters like more than you actually think. Like, say if you're doing like a like a I'm trying to think, like if you're doing a regular momentum, momentums will feel different with a different crossover. That's what I'm trying to say. That's the only reason why I bought all of these crossovers and I went through all of them. And I felt like Trey Young was the easiest for me to like actually do like a long crossover instead of momentum by accident. But behind the back, I talked about this already. I went Jamal Murray for that explosive behind the back. See that right there? Hold on, wait for it to come up again. That right there looks like an old like 2K20 a little bit. Instead of Steph Curry Curry slide, if you want a Curry slide still, you could do it. I just feel like if you want to just be like more like more shifty around the court, like say if you go right, do it behind the back to the left, keep going left, like you could do all of that with the Curry slide. It's really like a stationary move unless somebody's like you know, if you somebody set in a screen, he'll just go into the screen by accident if you Curry slide. For my spin, Kawhi Leonard. If you play other old two Ks, basic one is not the meta no more. It doesn't work. You don't get that little glitchy spin back from like two K twenty three. It doesn't work anymore, so I went Kawhi Leonard. So if you got to spin, use Kawhi Leonard. You're like at a 75 ball control. I said ball control, ball handle. For my hesitations, for you L2, if you want an L2 cancel, make sure you got Chris Paul on. I I just I can't I can barely do an L2 cancel without Chris Paul. So yeah, if you want a hesitation, use Chris Paul. And it's a little like you can like crab people with it easier too. If you want to just like do another crab move to the right, if the ball's in your right hand. Then for my step back, I want Kyrie. If you don't want to use Kyrie, you can use Steph Curry. Steph Curry is really good too. Steph Curry or Kyrie is the best one. Only reason I go Kyrie is because if y'all watch my old dribble tutorials, I know how to like do this little cheesy little step back spam thing where I like put the ball in between my legs all the time. For my triple dust style, I want LeBron James, but it doesn't really matter unless you do 
triple threat style moves, triple threat style moves. If you do triple threat style moves, you can use anything you want. It's up to you. It's your preference. Then for my motion styles, the top three motion styles I use. If you a tall guard, use Kawhi Leonard. And if not, use Elite. I feel like the fastest to me. And I checked 2K Labs and 2K Toots on YouTube. And they were saying Alex Caruso is the fastest motion style. So I started using it. And yeah, it's not bad. But I must keep using it until I feel like... You see how fast he runs too. He runs around the court really fast. And they said Alex Caruso is the fastest in the game. And I'm testing it out right now. And it, it don't feel too bad. Alright, bet. For the first move, I'm going to be teaching you out for today's video. This is Dribble Tutorial Part 5. And that's crazy to say that we're not even a month into the game yet. We almost there, but we're not there yet. So for the first move, I'm going to be calling it like the glitchy crossover. Because I don't know why this move doesn't get bumped for some reason. And it looks just like this. It's when the ball crosses over and you bring it back to the same side. Look, watch this. See that right there? See that right there? It'll give you that animation if you do it too slow. Watch. That right there. Boom. 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 So say if I'm dribbling, I would do it out of, like, out of that. See that right there? And I would keep speed boosting after that. So if I come right... Boom. If you're doing a Steve Francis spam. See that right there? See how the boys like coming back to the same side? But yeah, to perform this move, all you gotta do is hold R2 and to do a crab first. So, so to perform a crab, all you gotta do is hold R2 and flick your right stick top left if the ball is in your right hand. And it looks like this. That's a crab. Once you get the crab move down from the right side to the left side, it's top right. So if you're going from left to right, it's flick your right stick top right hold it while holding R2 to do the crab. Or oh, maybe do it between the legs I flicked it too low. But if you flick it too low, do it between the legs. Then once you get the move down, all you gotta do is hold your left stick to the side you wanna go. So since I wanna go back to the right and the ball is in my right hand, I hold it to the right. So watch. See that? See that right there? And I can speed boost out of it. You gotta wait for the move to play out too, so look. See I'm waiting for the crossover to happen? And then to the left side, all you gotta do is perform the crab move and then hold your left stick to the left while holding R2. See that? that pretty easy move right it's, a, it's an easy move to get down and you, add, you just add it to your combos it will confuse the shit out of people i ain't gonna lie see that right there so you could just look at a little burst of speed out of nowhere they think you go back, you think you're going to the right, but you're really going back to the left, bro. <laughs> now, for the second move of the day, I'm going to show y'all why I love this Jamal Murray behind the back instead of the curry slide. See, I see this right here. This is the Jamal Murray behind the back. I see how explosive that looks. That looks like it could bop somebody out their socks. The reason why I like it so much, because with that behind the back, you combine it with the L2 cancel, and you can get some crazy bops out of it. So, say if I'm speed boosting, right? See if I'm speed boosting back and forth, right? And you see, look, watch how long it takes to do the behind the back. You see that right there? You see that? Maybe do that little slow thing. But if you hold L2, but keep in mind, my L2 and my L1 buttons is switched. So really, if I'm holding L1 in the tutorial on the hand cam, that's really me holding L2. So look, if I hold L2, right, I can cancel out the animation and do the behind the back instantly. Watch this. You see that right there? But you got you gotta make sure you're holding it though. So you can get the behind the back every time and you won't get that slow one. Boom. You see, like imagine like you about to speed boost to the right. Oh my god, you can buy somebody out their shoes. See that you see how I'm like I'm canceling it from giving me like the slow one. But to perform this move, what you gotta do here is hold R2. You could do a speed, you could do a regular speed boost, you could do a long crossover speed boost, it doesn't matter. If you don't know how to speed boost, I talked about this in my other dribble tutorial. So if you're not, you're gonna have to watch the hand cam because I'm explaining the behind the back into the L2, the L2 cancel into the behind the back, I mean. So look, once you speed boost, hold L2. 
Don't remember, hold L2 once you speed boost. Look, it'll look like this. See how I held it? Once you hold L2, you want to flick. If you're going from the right side, if you're going from the left to right, and you want to go back to the left, you're going to flick your right stick bottom left. Uh, bottom left while holding L2 and R2, and then flicking your right stick bottom left. Don't forget that. Bam. You see how I, I just did it in slow motion for y'all so y'all can really get it. Y'all can slow the video down. Watch my hand cam. Watch. Put the video on 0 0.5 if you got to. Look. See that? See that? See how I'm holding my L2? You can just shoot off of it. You can just imagine just shooting off of that. People will get so mad that they call it too much cheese. No, nope, I'm just going to basketball. It's that easy. I just explained it to y'all in slow motion. And I just did it for y'all in fast motion. But in the fast motion, Look at the hand cam. Slow the video down if you don't get it. It's not a complicated move. I'm telling you right now. You get this down, it's, it's going to catch a lot of people. And I love to do it. I love to do this move when I'm right here, too. If I would come, like, speed to the right and do it right here, they would fall for it almost every time, bro. Like, I don't know why. The center usually drops right here for some reason. And I was getting three out of it. Now, for the final move for today's video, this is, this is part five. So, this is the final move. If y'all want part six... Y'all know what to do already. Come on, y'all know the deal. But for the final one, BTC, I have you play 2K23, you should have this down already. But it's a little bit harder this year just because of the delay. And it's the Steve Francis spam. And you can actually do the Steve Francis spam with the Aaron Fox too for some reason. Like, it looks almost the same thing. for So for you taller builds that don't get Steve Francis, you can use the Aaron Fox. So it's really a crossover spam. A long crossover spam. It looks like this. See that right there? I'm trying to do it slow fast so I can really get it. But y'all see it though, right? It's like I'm bringing the ball back to the right to the left. Make your lockdown choose where you want to go for a bump steal for. See that? Bringing it back over. Just bringing it. Hey, hey. And you can speed boost out of it. It's really like... Speed boost out of it anytime. L2 cancel. If you speed it up a little like this, keep speeding up. You see how I'm like starting to speed it up a little bit. See that? Tough move, I can't lie. It's a very decent move. Add the between the legs to it. See that? Every move I teach, I got to all just bring together, bro. Bring all the moves together. But yeah, y'all see the move though. Just hold the R2 when I bring it over, then let it go, then holding it again. Literally, right stick, top right, right stick, top left, left stick, I said left stick, right stick, top left, right stick, top right, left stick, top left, right stick, top right. Yeah, that's a tongue twist, that ain't gonna lie. But yeah, get that down, you can speed boost out of anywhere, come back, do the L2 cancel, the meta. Literally, if you want to be a meta guard, this is the meta guard right here. I touch you out of L2 cancel already, if I ain't watched the video, I can watch that again. L2 cancel out of it. Go behind the back, do the, the Kyrie step back spam. This is the Kyrie step back right here. Y'all wonder how I do this? You need Kyrie step back or James Harden. Looks cheesy, right? And then add the Steve Francis spam to it. Behind the back. All the moves I teach y'all, you can add to your combos, bro. See how I'm just switching it up? Look at the hand cam. Watch the hand cam. All the moves I taught y'all. All the moves. Behind the back. Oh, that was, that's everything, everything. Got everything down, look. Be a little, I could dunk on this build too, but he just want to be a little baby now. But besides that, if you knew, and if I told you something new, and if you learned something new, hit that like, you come, come on, bro. Like, I done did you a favor, You could can you do me a favor? And you know, I think, I think we got, we're we on the road to 14K too. I've been showing that y'all been showing a hella support lately, but hey, I appreciate y'all a lot. And I'ma see y'all in the next one. Let me know what type of content y'all want to see too. Oh yeah, and don't forget the next trash guard y'all see, I gotta set on this video. Bye, have a beautiful time.